Hi, I'm Melissa Brown with New Mail Properties. I have Ann Morrison here with me today from Morrison Law Firm in Concord, North Carolina. And we want to talk to sellers today about what you need to know when it comes to selling your home. Now, Ann, I'm sure you can agree with me that sellers, you are a very essential part of the puzzle. <laughs> And there is a lot of information that you need to be able to provide to your realtor as well as your attorney. So um, we want to just kind of talk about what I call the brown envelope. And that's all of your information from your previous sale of your home when you purchased it. And that way that gives me the information that I need to be able to list your home accordingly and provide information for your attorney. So Anna, I'll let you talk a little more okay. about that. Okay. Um, so that brown envelope that Melissa talked about <laughs> is important. Once the, ha the home is under contract, um, and you have your offer and everything signed off and it comes to our office to close, um, we will be contacting either you or through your realtor, um, we'll be contacting the sellers because we do need to know um, if there is a mortgage or mortgages on the property. We need the customer service phone numbers for those lenders, mm -hmm. loan numbers, generally the last four digits of social security numbers in order to obtain that loan information, as well as any um, homeowners association information. Right. So that's really what we need, at least on the front end. And that will then help them on the closing statement to be able to break down your numbers of what you're getting. And always sellers want to know, where's my money? Okay, so, so let's talk about the money we side. We get that question a lot as well. <laughs> so we the transaction's completed. You've signed off on the deed, the settlement statement, everything from the seller side. A lot of times the question is, well, where's my check? <laughs> <laughs> North Carolina has um, a law, I believe it's chapter 45, a of the general statutes and it's called the Good Fund Settlement Act mm -hmm. and what that requires is in North Carolina and I know that it's different in a lot of states and a lot of times this question comes from people who have come from other states sure um, you have to have the deed recorded at the courthouse before any money can be dispersed right. so generally it's a fairly quick process um, maybe an hour or two the wire has to come in from the lender to us mm -hmm. uh, we have to send generally a few documents to the lender to make sure that they sign off and it's correctly signed and initialed and dated where they need it dated and initialed and signed and then um, we go straight to the courthouse and get that recorded so that's the process and then once that's done we either can hand over a check or we can wire out funds to the oh, seller good. as well. That was going to be a question so you are able to actually wire the funds Correct. to the seller Correct. as well. And a lot of times that's preferable because um, we can't judge whether a lender is going to put a hold on a check or not um, right. especially depending on the dollar amount so if we wire funds it's good funds into their account as soon as it hits their account as well. Something that was really cool that I had no idea about until just recently with the closing last week was that you actually go to locations. We so do. Let's talk a little bit about that. I had I had no idea. We do and it was probably seven or eight years ago that we rolled that out um, and what we do for as a convenience to clients as well is um, there are about 15 counties I believe in this area oh, wow. and we travel to the counties. We don't mm -hmm. charge any extra for that. Um, we've closed at Starbucks before, we've closed at Panera before, um, we've done a card table at the empty house before, <laughs> um, and especially for first time home buyers, that seems right. to be a big draw. And I do think a lot of people are intimidated by going to attorney's offices, Sure. Um, so it, it actually provides a comfort level either to go to a realtor's office mm -hmm. or to go somewhere where it's a little bit more casual and low-key, so it has, it has worked well for us. That's awesome. I love that you guys do that. And didn't you mention also, Anne, that there was something that you were rolling out? Is a, a computer software that's new? Do you want to kind of talk it about it? It is. It's actually a component of our um, SoftPro, which is our company that does the HUD settlement, generates HUD settlement statements for us. Mm -hmm. And they have a new um, platform, and what it'll allow us to do is um, kind of have a portal and we'll be able to invite the lender, we'll be able to invite the realtors, nice. we'll be able to invite the buyer and seller. So it's, it's, um, it's closed in that it's only the people that you invite. But what it will allow us to do is upload the contract there, any kind of correspondence, we'll be able to say we received the title work back or the title commitment was sent to the lender. So anyone who kind of logs into that page of the portal will be able to see almost real time what is happening with the transaction. So I think it'll help communication, which I think is the biggest key. And I think what people, um, what stresses people out the most is not knowing what's going on along the way. 
So I do think it'll help a lot with that. So this will help um, them know the process in which their file is at that point That's in time. exactly right. And help the lenders know and help um, the agents keep everyone posted about, you know, really real time what's actually going on with the file. So it'll save these gaps of a week or two of communication um, and people will be able to see any time. And how soon can we expect that to roll out? I hope by the middle of February. So okay. that's our hope. Okay, perfect. Don't I put my feet to the fire with that, but hopefully. <laughs> if all goes well. I'm sure it will. I'm sure. Well, that's great. Well, thank you so much, Anne, for all of your information. You. It's always so fun to visit with you, too. So thank you so thank much, Thank you Melissa. so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.